So, good morning guys. Uh, it's almost like 10 o'clock in the morning. Today is Monday. Today is the 1st of July. And uh, now I'm in Zhoukou city. It's a Henan province city. And uh, now I'm in Guan Di Miao. Guan Di Miao is a memorial ancient temple to enshrine uh, Guan Yu. So during the Three Kingdoms, Guan Yu was a, a super warrior, right? And uh, he decapitated a lot of uh, generals and uh, his force uh, is worshipped by a lot of uh, Chinese people. Especially, you know, if you watch the Hong Kong movies, uh, those gangsters, they enshrine Guan Yu in their you know, little temple. It is a symbolic character and uh, to present the, the superpower and the strong holy force. Take a look. Uh, it's rental back. This is my second time exploring Henan province. This Guandi temple is a well-known historical building in the area. So I come to this temple first to experience the local history of Zhoukou. Henan province, located in central China, is further removed from modern lifestyles in terms of its culture and traditions. Let's experience the authentic essence of China together. So, the stone arch was built in 30 years of the Emperor Qianlong in the Qing Dynasty, 1765. Yeah, not so long ago. But uh, we don't really need, you know, to have like 2,000 years of the history. Only two or three, three hundreds of uh, years makes uh, such a nice, awesome architecture. The temple was built during the Qianlong period of the Qing Dynasty and was originally founded by merchants from Shanxi and Shanxi provinces who came to Henan to do business. It was actually used as a gathering place for people from the same hometown. The temple's architectural style features elaborately decorated wood and stone carving, with a focus on intricate and luxury details, setting it apart from the common buildings. From the architectural style, you can also sense the clearly defined hierarchical structure of ancient Chinese society. The decorations heavily feature auspicious patterns and designs, such as two dragons playing with a pole, phoenix and a peony, five blessings offering longevity, promoting to high rank, and wealth and the prosperity. The five statues in the hall represent the five strongest generals of the Shu Kingdoms during Three Kingdoms period, also known as the five tiger generals. They are Guan Yu in the center, with Huang Zhong and Zhao Yun on the left, and Zhang Fei and Ma Chao on its right. In China, there are numerous temples, each dedicated to different figures ranging from Taoist ancestors to Buddhist Bodhisattvas, or even historical figures like this temple. However, many Chinese traditions have been lost over the time, and the younger generation is generally less interested in visiting temples. It is mostly the elderly who still maintain certain traditions. Once this generation passes away, it will likely to be difficult to preserve these traditions. Well, if you listen to the old grannies, they are yelling something in the temple. Which, do you hear that? Which I don't really understand. But do you hear that? Feels like a the granny is like a welcoming the spirit of the the, the warlord. The tour in the temple is done. It's a fairly decent temple. Uh, Three hundred years of the history of the arch 
in front of the temple, the, the main uh, architectures, I think, uh, approximately maybe just one, 100 years old. Uh, but the interesting grannies are yelling over there and playing Tai Chi or martial arts. I'm not really sure what they are doing. But it's good to fit on this uh, historical spot in Zhoukou, Wenan province. So now I'm going back to fetch my car and we are going to drive almost uh, 20 kilometers to Fuxi Temple or Fuxi Scenic Spot and uh, to check out if there's something interesting over there. Okay, off we go. So just uh, occasionally drive by this uh, riverside. They, they put this uh, riverside as a scooter friendly environment so I can, you know, scooting around. But uh, this river is called Yingchuan. I think it's a small river, right? But uh, this is the, the stream crossing maybe Zhoukou city. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Huh? Every time when, when I go through uh, the rivers in China, uh, I love to, to record it. There's a, a crane set up on the ship, maybe just dig out the earth in the river or something. Yeah, but anyway, I have to continue the trip. Yeah, let's move on. I spent like almost one hour uh, to get to this suburb area. Uh, this is a scenic spot. Of course, it's a touristy trip. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge, huge lake plus the park. But the, the main theme of this place is that one. Uh, this is a tomb of Fuxi. Fuxi is a character that mentioned in Shanggu scholars, right? Uh, very old uh, written book, the oracles or the the cave paintings, right? In a lot of ancient book, it was mentioned that Nuwa and Fuxi, they are some kind of uh, you know reptilian looking people, you know. They have the the humanoid uh, upper bodies, so they have. They, they look like a human from the upper body, but they do have like a snake look like a lower part of their body. So it's basically like a snake uh, reptilian tail or something. Uh, to be honest, Zhoukou city isn't very enriched with historical monument and the historical architectures. There's sort of, you know, temples like the, the Guan Yu's temple, which was old. But I, you know, just scooting around the city, I didn't see a lot of historical monument. Very as different as Kaifeng. Kaifeng, uh, Kaifeng is so close by, by the way. When, when you're scooting around the Kaifeng, you, you do see a lot of historical buildings, maybe here and there. It's everywhere, ubiquitous, right? But that was last year. So that's why I came back to Henan province. So let's get into this tomb and take a look. Wuxi is the ancient ancestor of the people in the mainland, and his wife is Nuwa. After reading some historical materials, I personally believe that Nuwa is actually the equivalent of Eve from the Bible. According to ancient legends, Nuwa created humans from clay. Both Wuxi and Nuwa were beings with serpent bodies who could transform into human forms. They held a compass and a square, which are iconic measuring tools for the masons. The current tomb was built during the Ming Dynasty designed based on the concept of Taiji and the Eight Trigrams. To enter the core area, one must pass through many gates known as the Taiji Gates. Ya 
as you can see the earth here behind me this is the tomb of Fuxi I think basically this is only a you know a spot mentioned in uh, you know folk tellers and the people realized that this is a spot maybe they discovered something you know maybe just a plaque of the, the tomb then all the other temples and the architecture buildings and memorial monuments were set up by the locals recently walking through these traditional temple buildings i noticed many elderly women singing in a very difficult to understand the local dialect the lyrics were hard to comprehend as most of them don't speak standard mandarin I had to ask a few of the adults and listening attentively. What I understood was that they were singing about everyday trivial matters and their own life experiences. Henan is a very interesting place. It isn't as modernized as China's coastal regions, but it offers a wealth of historical traditions to experience. Oh, so I'm about to, to leave the scenic spots for this uh, spread for IMB. But the, the crazy thing is, I think, oh my God, there's a, a raining storm is coming, approaching to this place. Uh, it's getting darker. If you look at the, the clouds, it's so crazy. The wind is so strong, oh my God. I'm not able to open my eyes even. So the Fushi God is uh, approaching us. Oh my God. I think I have to leave this place as soon as possible. Otherwise I have to drive you know, in a storm for... Oh my God, I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> 